This is Paul at Down East Under Creations. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the video. I didn't video uh, the beginning of laying down the plywood subfloor, but as you can see here, we're fitting another panel. We're almost at the very end. And the procedure was pretty much the same throughout, uh, right from the beginning, except for just trimming a little bit of plywood around the wheel wells. Other than that, it was pretty straightforward. And then all we had to do is just uh, screw the plywood down to the floor joist and uh, we used uh, some li liquid nails in between each joint and each plywood joint is right over a floor joist. What I'm doing now is I'm taking this drill and I'm going through the hole in the, in the, uh, the trailer rails, these holes that have already been drilled, and I'm going up through the underside, and I'm not going to drill, I'm going to drill into the 2x4 sill plate, but not all the way through. I just want to make an indentation so I know where the hole has to come through. And the reason why I'm not drilling all the way through is because I'm going to take a smaller drill. I'll take the sill plate off, when I'm done, flip it upside down, take a smaller drill, do a little pilot hole and then that will locate my Forstner bit on the top side with a little hole sticking through I know where to put the Forstner bit so I can do a countersink hole for the bolts and that then I can everything will be lined up and I can go ahead and uh, well I can go ahead and uh, put in the liquid nails and then bolt the sill plate down so it'll be solid so I just have to reach under and I feel where that hole is Put the drill in. Just make an indentation. So the next one is. Upside down, and I can see the indentations where I with the with the uh, I made with the drill bit going underneath, and that allows me to find the uh, the center of the, where that hole's going to be for a pilot hole. And I'm putting that all the way through. Now I can put it back right side up. And now where I, where I broke through with the uh, with that pilot drill, that will show me where right here. Yeah, I have a, a Forstner bit here that's uh, just a little bit larger than the head of this half inch. Uh, carriage bolt and I'm just going to count a sink so that that carriage bolt the head of it is just below the surface and since I have that pilot hole there I know where to line up that Forstner bit and that helps uh, guide it and I'll do that on all of them take my half inch drill drill and I can finish draw I can finish drilling that half inch uh, hole and I'll just continue doing that 
down all the way down. I now have the carriage bolts partially in place. They're not socked down yet. I just wanted to do a test fit to make sure that everything is lined up and they fit properly. Uh, I did make a mistake. I was off a little bit uh, on one hole back here and it was not a problem. I just enlarged the hole, elongated it a little bit over to one side and now everything lines up properly. And that's why I do a test fit first. That way there I can make any adjustments if I have to and uh, as I did here. And now I'm ready to take the bolts out lift this piece off, clean up all the shavings and around it, and then I can go ahead and uh, I can lay down a bead of uh, liquid nails, and then I can sock her down. A couple of places I did not want this stuff. So I was a bit absent-minded, and I went a little too far with the goop and so I scraped this up and rubbed it down with some paper towels, cleaned it as best I could. And I don't want this part of the wood to stick to it so I put a little tape over, which there's not much left, but just to be safe I put some tape over where I didn't want the, uh, the goop to be. And when I put this in place, I made some partial cuts in the 2x4. This is where the door is going, uh, so the cuts are for the rough opening. And once these sill plates are installed and socked down, and I know they're in line and straight, then I can take uh, my, my Japanese pull saw, or any other saw really, uh, just a cross cut saw, and I can finish this cut and just pull this piece right out. But right now I want it in place so that it helps me line everything up. So I'm gonna continue gooping the rest of it. There's not much left to go. I think I pretty much have it there. Put this in place. Now I can drop my uh, carriage bolts in. get a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. And I just have to get them started and I'm not going to ask you to sit through that. I'm just going to reach under there, get them started by hand, and then take my impact wrench and run them up. set up. Uh, later on I can cut this out, although this is uh, not a priority. I can cut that out anytime, uh, right up until uh, I'm ready to install the door. So I can just leave it there for now. All right. Um, all the rest of the sill plates along the sides, they're going to be installed in pretty much the same manner, so I'm not going to ask you to sit through that. So. Uh, I'll be back when I finish that and we'll see what the next step is. Well, it's Thursday, it's December 28th, uh, 2023, and uh, well, it's about two in the afternoon, uh, Eastern time, and as you can see, the sill plates are finally installed. Uh, that part is completed. I'm now ready to begin building the wall framing and I'm going to do that in sections and make it a little bit easier to handle and to put it into place. And, uh, 
But this, I think, concludes this week's video. And obviously, I'm, I'm going to be late getting it out because I usually uh, release them on a Thursday night, a Thursday afternoon. And here it is Thursday afternoon, and I haven't even started editing yet. So I'm not sure when I'll get it out. But uh, this is it for this video. Uh, next week, you should see some footage on uh, building the, uh, the wall framing. So that's where I'm going to start filming uh, in the next few minutes because I just started, uh, I'm just getting started today now. It's the first chance I had to get back over here and uh, get to work. But please remember to like and share, subscribe if you haven't, ring the little bell, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe, like, share. And if you do subscribe, remember to ring that little bell so that you can be notified of any new videos that are released. And thanks again for watching.